What's up, everybody? We're on a podcast now. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to talk about what's going on with Ghost of Tsushima. Now, I have a lot of thoughts I want to kind of get out there on Ghost of Tsushima, so I, I wanted to kind of title it and have it more be a, a discussion on this game because I'm very, very excited for this game. I think this game has loads, loads of potential. It reminds me of Days Gone in a way, but in a much better way. And that's not saying anything negative about Days Gone because I actually really, really like Days Gone, appreciate all of the stuff that happened with that game and Sony Bend. Uh, in general. But Ghost of Tsushima is in a very weird and interesting spot. We talked about it in regards to The Last of Us Part 2 specifically, and so I'm going to recap a little bit of what I said there, but also talk about some other things that uh, has me a little puzzled on Ghost of Tsushima. Obviously, the biggest thing, again, like the elephant in the room is, you delay Iron Man, you delay The Last of Us Part 2, but you don't delay Ghost of Tsushima, which would have released one month after, actually slightly less uh, if you compare it to The Last of Us Part 2. So Ghost of Tsushima still, at least when I'm recording, this uh, is supposed to release on June 26, 2020. Okay. Now, again, we talked about it with The Last of Us Part Two being delayed, and it's been been delayed indefinitely. So nobody knows. Nobody knows uh, what when it's going to come out. It's been pulled from the PlayStation Store. Refunds have been issued. All that kind of stuff. Very drastic, big time stuff. Right? Does it take? Ghost of Tsushima's place. Do they not announce the release date of The Last of Us because Ghost of Tsushima is still there? What's their plan? Is The Last of Us Part 2 going to the PS5? Is Ghost of Tsushima going to the PS5? I think Ghost of Tsushima would have a better shot at doing it than The Last of Us. And I said that at the end of yesterday's video. I think we're talking about The Last of Us Part 2. I think it's important to, to mention as well because here's the biggest thing. I don't know. You know, we're not, not, we're not flies on the wall. We don't necessarily know everything that's going on. But... It seems like for the longest time, obviously The Last of Us Part Two is supposed to come out first. It's supposed to have been out actually for a while. Don't forget, rumor had, even from Jason Schreier, that this game was supposed to come out in the fall of 2019. Okay? So they wanted this game to be out as early as I mean, obviously they're not gonna rush Naughty Dog. They've given Naughty Dog every, you know, every opportunity, every chance. Like, hey, if you need more time, you need to delay it, go ahead and do it. You've done it before, you did it for Uncharted 4. Uh, take as much time as you need, right? We'll give you as much time as you need. But I think the intention has always been get that game out first, right? That game is always going to beat Ghost of Tsushima in terms of literally just when it releases. And again, the evidence is it's been delayed, I guess, internally probably at least three times. And externally, from what we actually know, you know, technically I believe it's only been delayed two times. But again, this game probably was supposed to come out uh, in the fall. So it, it's been pushed quite a bit. Ghost of Tsushima has always been, well, we don't know all that much about this game. This game has been very, very quiet. And again, that worries me for an entirely different set of reasons. Um, we talked about it actually months ago where it's like, all right, if this game is truly coming out in the summer, and this is when we didn't know that it was late June. Remember, I had predicted either late June or late August. Those are my two dates, and I, I, I was right. Now, if it gets delayed, hopefully it gets delayed till late August, and I could actually be right uh, twice. But even in those videos I talked about, we need more stuff. You know, the stuff that we've seen has been very promising, has been very good. I have nothing negative to say on the stuff we've seen. My my approach to it has always been, we haven't seen enough though. And I think Ghost of Tsushima is a game that you need to show us more than you think you do. It's not The Last of Us Part 2. If, if you really think about it, The Last of Us Part 2, we've seen an okay amount of, but the game is massive. It is massive. And we really, when you think about it, I think when we all get to play it, we'll all kind of realize, you know what? We didn't know all that much about this game. They really told us next to nothing in the large scale of things. And again, with Naughty Dog, that's always been what it is. I, I can think back all the way even to like Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2, they did show some of the bigger parts of that game leading into it, but that was kind of the start. Uncharted 3 was a lot more secretive. The Last of Us was very, very secretive, right? The biggest parts of Uncharted 3, Last of Us, Uncharted 4 were completely hidden. And when you really think about it, they showed us very, very small like literally probably like 0.001% of those games, right? Then when you think of Ghost of Tsushima, it's a completely different beast because we had kind of the failure. I would call it a failure. I think it's fair to say that of Second Son. And I think, again, when I compare it to Days Gone, another reason why I do that is like, you have, with Days Gone, it was an unproven studio, a studio that made Uncharted Golden Abyss, which is a fantastic Uncharted game, but it was on the Vita. And they spent years and years making this AAA open world zombie game. And yeah, that's a lot of work. And so we, I mean, that that's a ton. That's quite a jump. And again, I respect what they had done. Um, but at the same time, like, okay, well, 
we don't need to tr like it's not like we should trust you right i don't really think that's that like if you go into it and you say you know what i kind of need to be shown why i need to buy this game i think you have every right to do that and that's kind of how actually how we should all be approaching every game every movie like prove it to us and i think a lot of games and a lot of movies and a lot of entertainment stuff don't really do that they kind of have the side of them where it's like well we know, we are already are proven so you, we don't have to prove anything to you we don't have to show you anything which again it's fine it really is, in my opinion, it's dependent on the property. Literally, the property of the game, the property of the movie, the show, whatever it is. For Ghost of Tsushima, I do see it like Days Gone, where, yes, Sucker Punch, I think, in all, has shown that they can do it. They, I mean, there's no reason, there is reason to doubt them, but there's no reason to not believe that they couldn't do this. I think they can. They can absolutely make a really big, amazing game in Ghost of Tsushima. They really, really could. But, with Second Son... And, it, and with it being how far away it's been from Infamous, and also that just that this is, in fact, a different game entirely than Infamous, we should all be a little bit more questioning. And again, what we've seen is great, but we've seen very, very little in retrospect of this game. And the game is supposed to still, I mean, think about it. Think about it, because it's not delayed yet. It's supposed to come out in two and a half months. We still don't know all that much about the game. And again, we don't need to know everything, but we know a little bit, but we don't really know how systems work. We don't really know how, like, in-game stuff is going to work. There's a lot of like smaller things that really I think are going to make up a large part of the game that we don't know about yet. And again, that's kind of an aside, but again, when talking about what's going on with this game, that's something you have to recognize in my opinion. Is part of the and this this is like a, this is a conspiracy, I guess. This is something that I'm just thinking of, but could it be that they're holding things back in Ghost of Tsushima because they're uncertain that it's going to release? In June. Again, it's different from The Last of Us because you could say the same thing with The Last of Us, but I feel like, again, because of these different properties, and again, whether or not it's right or wrong to say this, they have less to prove. Like, we don't need to see all that much in The Last of Us for people to jump in. I think for Ghost of Tsushima, it's important for us to see an okay amount of this game, or at least know what we're signing up for before we jump in. And again, it's two and a half months away. And again, the whole thing with The Last of Us and that indefinite delay, it really provide in my opinion it, 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 sh it like has doubt it has doubt over ghost of tsushima with two things one i don't see how ghost of tsushima comes out before the last of us maybe it does but my own personal opinion is i feel like it doesn't i feel like again what, what i've predicted in these other videos i think it's only a matter of time before they delay that game whether or not they need to they may not need to delay it but they may do it anyway so the last of us can still come first or do they, again, do they do something drastic like they've done already with The Last of Us Part Two? Are we really pushing these games into the late summer, early fall, or even when the PS5 releases? Is The Last of Us, could they do something insane, have Ghost of Tsushima come out when it's supposed to, and then have Last of Us Part Two be a PS5 and PS4 game in the fall? Would they really do that? I, I would say no, but at this point... Nobody really knows because obviously something like this has never, ever happened before. So it's really, really hard to predict. Um, but it just is all kind of weird with Ghost of Tsushima. We haven't seen all that much. You would assume that at some point we would start to hear more and more about it, start to see more and more things. It's just generally what games do before they release. Even, even games that are trying to keep a low profile, you still see a little bit about it before it comes out. Like the last couple months before it releases are big, and you do generally learn a good amount about the game before they release. So far, nothing from Ghost of Tsushima. I mean, yeah, we got the like the uh, the release date trailer, which again I talked about. I even made a video uh, predicting stuff that we learned from it. Like, hey, even that trailer does kind of show us some things that we didn't know before on Ghost of Tsushima, which is a good thing. But again, we're another like month removed from that, and we still heard nothing. And again, could that be because they're not ready for it to come out in June? Like, I know they did the release date. I understand they they labeled the release date. We're all very excited. I mean. That's two days before my birthday when this game is supposed to come out. I want it to come out that day. I think that day would be great. I think it would be great for me personally. I think it would be great for a lot of people uh, going into those summer months, the July-August, which is normally a little bit, you know, there's not as many games. There's almost next to none games that come out in those times. Uh, and to have Ghost of Tsushima would be really awesome. But, again, you think about all the other aspects of it, 
And do they allow that game to come out before The Last of Us, or do they push it? And in which case, where do you push uh, push Ghost of Tsushima to? Again, like where where's the info of this game? When are we eventually going to get the info? I feel like they've been quiet. It's not like that's been any different. I'm not saying like oh that's something we really need to investigate because that's so out of the norm. They've been very quiet. Uh, Sucker Punch in general, really ever since Second Son, has been insanely quiet about what they're working on. And then even when we saw and they even like told us, okay, it's official like we're working on this game goes to Tsushima uh we still haven't really they've been very very quiet and I think that's all for a purpose I think they're doing that literally on purpose but just again the way the games work and the last and now all of the drama going on with the last was part two I don't know I really don't I if you again if you ask me and you if you asked me last week I would have told you this if you ask me right now I would tell you this I really don't see Ghost of Tsushima releasing that day I truly truly don't I truly think that it's going to get delayed too It'll probably be said that that's also an indefinite delay. Eventually, maybe, hopefully, hopefully, my prediction would be, uh, hopefully a short time after that, they give the release dates for Iron Man and The Last of Us, and then right after that, they give the release date for Ghost of Tsushima. I think, again, they all kind of push each other. Think about how Marvel did it. Remember how Marvel did it, like, a couple days ago, where literally every single movie just took the next movie spot, like Black Widow took Eternals, which took, you know, and then they just kept literally going down the line. Imagine Imagine that just for these two games. Imagine, like, that's what I kind of picture. But again, even that could be wrong. Maybe they get moved so far out that, that not even that happens. Very interesting. I want this game. I mean, really, they're they're depriving us. I want The Last of Us and I want Ghost of Tsushima. I want them in my house right now. Um, I'm willing to wait. I'm honestly willing to wait as long as it takes to get good games. But I really, like, don't, I, so I'm basically saying that because I don't want people to, to twist my words or anything. I love these two games. I think they have enormous potential. I cannot wait so while maybe I bash Ghost of Tsushima more than I say good things about it it's kind of tough love because I really want this game to be good I have so much hope that it can be a really good game I want it to bounce sucker uh, punch back from the infamous second Sundays right I really want this to be an amazing game I'm just worried about it because just something in my gut tells me like something's not right and and something hasn't been right for a while but we'll have to see we'll ultimately have to see so guys let me know in the comments below what do you think what do you think is going on with Ghost of Tsushima do you think it's going to get delayed do you think it's going to still stay in that June 26 spot. Let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up and we'll continue talking about Ghost of Tsushima. You guys have always really supported these videos uh, well and I really do appreciate that. So again, if you guys do uh, like me talking about this, make sure you let me know uh, so I can continue making videos and any breaking Ghost of Tsushima news we'll absolutely cover as well. Okay, thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.